Okay. So wherever you're sitting, try to keep your feet flat on the floor. And you can put your hands in any kind of mudra that you want to use. It doesn't really matter. Any kind of mudra that you remember or comes natural, or just put your hands on your lap with your palms up or your palms down. That's the simplest thing. And then close your eyes and just become aware of the natural in-breath. And then become aware of the natural out-breath. And so when we practice pranayama, we're really just drawing the mind inward to notice what's happening all the time. We're just turning the mind inward and noticing the natural in-breath. There's a slight pause and there's a natural out-breath. And there's also a little pause before the next in-breath. Just naturally this happens. So just take a few moments now to just tune in to your own natural breath. with this Bastrika breath. So the way that it's done is it's just a natural inhale for the moment. And then as you exhale, exhale sharply through your nose. You know, and just take a normal breath. So you're going to take a normal breath in. You don't even have to try to take a normal breath in. It'll happen. But on the exhale, it's a little bit of a force out through your nose. And you can feel your whole body engaged with that exhale. And in the beginning, you wanna do this very slow, just taking this moment to natural in-breath, exhale, a couple of normal breaths, wait a few seconds, and then the Bastrika breath. Exhale forcefully. (laughs) 
Now, if you feel comfortable, you can increase the velocity of the Bhastrika breath, meaning that your repetitions of it increases. So instead of a slow breath with natural breathing in between, it's a repetitive Bhastrika breath. And at some point you might just want to pause, take notice, check in with yourself. This could make you dizzy. It's a pretty energetic breath. So just check in with yourself and then adjust and change that velocity and repetition of the Bostrika breath. Maybe slow it down or maybe speed it up. Again, you're not forcefully inhale. You're just naturally letting the inhale come in and then forcefully exhaling. you might notice that there's this natural urge or tendency to just, uh, you know, to just let it all go. You know, this building up of energy and it's like this kind of sigh of relief. Uh, you know, just so notice that naturally if it's occurring, you don't want to create it dramatically, but just notice naturally if it's occurring for you and then give your body permission to just do that, to just, just let that natural breath go. And then go back to the Bostrika breath. So just give yourself another five cycles of this breath. Take pause and tune in. Tune in to your own state, noticing, becoming aware, sensing. <clears throat> So just, um, you know, give me like the high sign, the wave sign, if you have a question. Everybody's good? Thumbs up? Okay. So again, readjust yourself now and we'll go into a 15 minute meditation. If you find that 15 minutes might be whew, you know, just a little bit too long for you. You know, give yourself permission to go back to some gentle breathing, open your eyes, you know, even leave. It's okay. So meditation is something you want to experience joyfully. And maybe today's not the day to do 15 minutes. So that's okay. All right. I'll just record it. 
So meditation is um, another one of the eight limbs of yoga. It's considered one of the deeper parts of yoga. Where you really become the witness to observe the fabric of your mind, or let's better say the mind. It's not really yours, it's just the mind. And the personality of the mind is to show images, continually have a stream of thought, emotions, chit chat. You know, that's the design of the mind. So you're not going to change that. What we will do over time, and maybe now for some of you, is strengthen the other part, the deeper part of the brain that deals with the witnessing. Like in Yoga Nidra, you're observing. And that's what you're looking to achieve if they're actually is a goal, which there isn't in meditation. You're looking to achieve this witness state where no matter what is going across the fabric of the sky of the mind, there's a part of you that's completely neutral. You're just watching it like a feed, like a series of videos or sound or icons. And over time, you become less and less affected by what you see, hear, or notice. And to help you to stay in that witness state, there's the mantra meditation, which we'll do today. It's about thinking in or actually using the sound, so hum. Inhaling, you can think so or see so in your mind or form your lips. And then as you exhale, you exhale thinking or sounding H A M. Hum. You can say it aloud, not say it aloud, think it, see it. Do it repeatedly, do it with pause. And you may want to call up the mantra when you start to notice that you're absorbed and attached to these thoughts of the fabric of the mind. If you find yourself following that stream, that feed, call back in the mantra. That's another way to do it. So I'll just leave you with that now. Remember to sit tall, keep the spine straight, relax.
just slowly, slowly, slowly come back. Feeling the breath in your body, aware of your body in the room, the external sounds in the room. And letting yourself awaken gently from this meditative state by gently stretching, moving your fingers and toes, taking some deep breaths in, maybe three Bostrika breaths. And then with the eyes closed, sometimes it's a little bit of a shock to the nervous system, depending on the light of the day, to just open the eyes. So to awaken them gently, we do a technique called palming, where we rub the palms of our hands together to create some friction and warmth. And then we gently place the palms over the eyes. Aware of what you see, sense, notice, hear. Noticing that even within the palms, there's a lightness that permeates the darkness. You may notice even patterns start to appear at times. But gently and gradually begin to flutter your eyes open while they're still covered by the palms. Keep the eyes looking down as you take the palms away. Blink a few times to let the eyes adjust. And remember to record, if you like, any of your insights, any questions that come up, you can certainly ask. I thank you for coming. Stay healthy and well, everyone. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you.